Welcome to December 24th, 2020. A very good Christmas Eve, everybody. Well, we still have to deal with the wind, especially for anybody watching and listening to this podcast. It's along and east of the Continental Divide. You're going to be windy today. West of the Divide, well, your day is going to be pretty good. But we still have some very strong jet stream winds overhead. So it's still going to be windy, I'm afraid to say, especially on the eastern plains of Wyoming and western Nebraska and the plains of northeastern Colorado. But by tonight, winds are going to ease and we're going to have a pretty good looking Christmas day. We've got another system coming in late Saturday into Saturday night and Sunday morning. It'll bring some snow to the mountains, a few pockets of snow, the plains and colder temperatures. Now, unlike this last front, which came out of Canada, this system this weekend is a Pacific front, so the air with it is not terribly cold. We still see signs of a possible larger storm early next week around Tuesday and Wednesday. It could come in as early as late Monday and Monday night. So we want to give a heads up to travelers. We're going to lose a lot of folks here with the weekend coming on up. But if you're going to be traveling, you need to watch out for two time frames. Late Saturday night into early Sunday with a minor system. But if you're going to be traveling anywhere in the plains or the central Rockies, Monday night through Wednesday of next week, there's going to be some problems because somebody is going to end up with a pretty decent storm. It's just a matter of who. Today, we have these strong upper level jet stream winds. This is a map of upper level winds at 30,000 feet. And here are these winds coming in from the north, just moving along very, very rapidly. You know, we've got jet stream winds here well in excess over 120, 150 miles an hour. But as we progress through the day and into Friday, I want to show you what happens with the upper level winds. This is today. This is tomorrow. So notice those upper level winds are gone. And you can see that we have much lighter winds underneath this high pressure that comes in Christmas Day. So we're going to see the winds relax, relaxing rather considerably, although we're still going to have some windy areas here on Christmas Day, but down to a gentle roar. The winds just have been awful, and they'll be awful for one more day. There's the high pressure ridge that is overhead for Christmas Day. There's going to be stormy weather here in this part of the country for Christmas Day. Some wet weather along the Pacific coast, but this part of the country for Christmas Day is going to be very, very quiet weather-wise. So the good news is if you are going to travel today, be ready for the wind. If you're going to travel on Christmas Day, really no problems. Now by Saturday afternoon and Saturday night, this system right here is going to come in, flatten the ridge. You can see the ridge is gone. And you can see it doesn't look like much, but there is a wave coming through with Pacific air, Pacific moisture, and instability. So this is going to bring a shot of mountain snow Saturday, Saturday night into Sunday morning with some snow showers on some of the plains. This guy back here, this is the one that is going to come in for Monday night, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and we'll need to really keep an eye on it. As we go forward, we will see that system go into the Great Basin. This is what the snowfall forecast looks like through Sunday afternoon. It looks so much like other maps we've shown you. That northwest flow comes in. So you can see that the high country gonna get more snow as we get into Saturday night and Sunday. You see the little gray patches here. There's gonna be a little bit of light snow out on the plains. Northeastern Wyoming, central Wyoming right here. Saturday night, Sunday would not be surprised if you pick up some accumulating snow in this zone. You know, one to three inches, not a lot, but enough. If you're gonna be traveling, watch it there and over near the mountains in the mountain passes. Saturday night and Sunday will bring some slick conditions. Now here we are by Tuesday morning. We've got a low right over the four corners in the upper level reaches of the atmosphere. This storm system, as we noted yesterday, these type of systems, this is a pattern. A lot of weather forecasting is pattern recognition, but when you get a high right here, you get a high in the southeastern United States, you're gonna consolidate the energy in the Great Basin and Rockies. And you also see this, this is a cold surge that could come in behind the low. So there's a lot of things on the table that could make this a larger, more intense storm early next week. And as we highlighted yesterday, the storm could end up there, but it could also end up here. It could also end up somewhere in the middle. So we have a lot of question marks, but I can tell you that based on recognizing this pattern, which we've seen before, if this comes together and the computer modeling is pretty, pretty, let's say pretty much in agreement that it will, somebody here is gonna end up with a pretty good winter storm early next week. So you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned, especially to Monday morning's podcast to see what happens. 
but it does bear watching if you've got traveling next week. Longer term, this goes out to January 8th, we see that the potential is still there for a colder air mass to settle into North America. Now this is something we keep getting teased with, but it hasn't come to fruition yet where the doors to the Arctic get open. One interesting aspect of this particular forecast here is the counterclockwise flow around this low here would bring in cold air into the central and western United States for that first week of 2021. Now supporting that is again, the Arctic Oscillation. This is where we are right now. The Arctic Oscillation is near neutral territory, which is exactly kind of what's gonna be happening over the next couple of days, getting a little bit more mild and seeing high pressure move overhead. But look what happens to the Arctic Oscillation right after Christmas. It stays in negative territory all the way up, well past really January 7th and January 8th. So there is more winter weather coming as we head to the new year. Have a Merry Christmas, everybody. We'll talk to you on Monday. Have a happy, safe, and very Merry Christmas.